welcome back to Cabino Games and it's time for another Darjus Siege battle and this time we're battling Beer Club and La Familia but first a few greetings from our family Happy Holidays everybody I hope you like this video thank you Mama G and Baby G Happy Holidays everyone I hope you're enjoying your vacation and spending time with your family now let's go straight to the action. We have here Red 11 from Beer Club. And it's full of these Jean, Theo Mars, and Eladriel. We're bringing our Ignore Defense team with our Copper Bulldozer Emilia. And off the bat, they're going crazy. But it's fine because we have Purifying Wave. And let's go full power punch this Eladriel. Nice one. And then Thunderstrike this John. Boom! So automatically it's a 3 versus 1. But of course, again, since um, our team or this team is a defense based team, if that Theo Mars procs revenge or violent, we're just gonna go bye bye. So, um, can we stun? No stun. Okay. Goodbye, Copper. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Alright, good job. Now these defenses can be really OP, especially in siege battles because you can only bring a certain number of teams against them. Now we're bringing in another team here with our Galleon, Beta, and Lagmaron. Now even though if they had will runes in this defense, we'll just put in a two turn immunity with our Beta. But of course, we need a defense break on this Eladriel so that we can squall and kill him. Okay, very good. Now can we kill this Eladriel? Oh, a nice one. Okay, now that Jean just pretty much violent and broke out of her defense break. But it's okay because we're gonna stun. No stun. Not even an attack break. <laughs> okay. Now because that Theo Mars had a lower health, she pretty much put that invincibility on him. Yep, so when you're battling a Jean, just make sure you lower the health of whoever you want to have that invincibility on. Like for example, if you're you know, if you check out the attack bars and you see that they're gonna get the next turn, you can lower down their health or whatever. Okay, now here Simp Neftora who's pretty much mirroring the defense. Um, yeah, let's play around with mirroring defense later. But first, here's our OP offensive team with our Bulwark, fully skilled Emilia, and Skogul. Now the trick here is, of course, my Skogul is pretty much on enhanced runes, so that's going to add more health to our team. Uh, and, and instead of being violent or being built on violent with this speed shooting that I have after that um, what do you call this forbidden galder that atlas stone is going to land that's why I really like my score goal especially on the offense not on violent because then um, hmm Boom, there you go. <laughs> and just like that. No more violent, John. Okay, you see? Yep, I've been thinking of making a video on that. Don't get me wrong though. Uh, I believe that Skogul on violent is still perfect for defense. Okay, here's Simp, Simp Abarai. Alright, let's see the other towers and what do we have here. We have Yellow 10. And we have Ryuga on the attack. With his Wusa, Rika, and Ganymede. And we have Crab here with his Molong. And Big Boss Man, Simp Al. With his Oki, Gani, Perna. Alright. Oh hey, this time we have Red 10 
from Deer Club and it's full of these John, Theo Mars, and Harmonia. Alright, let's bring in our Kali, Chloe, and Covenant. Again, another ignore defense team. But this time, we get in the first turn and we're gonna let them go do whatever they do. Battle Fire. Now, with the elemental advantage of Bulwark, or sorry, Covenant, let's go headshot this Harmonia because we don't want her doing whatever. And then. Looking at the attack bars, the Theo Marsh is gonna go. Oof. Oh, okay, nice. Sue. Okay, heal up. Wow. He packs a punch. Good thing, no violence for you. Yeah, if the Theo Marsh proc two violence, he could have just killed my Kali. And then most probably killed my Covenant too. Okay, good thing he's not proccing. Too much violence right now. All right, let's see here. Oh, there's a what do you call this? A Zeratu over there. Um, let's try this. Um, John, Theo, Harmonia, and I'm bringing in my fully skilled Molong, and this time a Triana, together with our Icares. Okay, let's go. Now if you follow my videos, last time I brought in a Molong that's not fully skilled up. And it was a bit hard because maybe skill was on cooldown. And yeah, it didn't work too well because I just couldn't finish this Harmonia on time. Oh no, sorry, Jean. Yeah, we couldn't finish Jean on time. Because like, like this, you know, she procs a violin. And then she's gonna just provoke everyone. And that's gonna give us a hard time especially because our Molong is low on health and then the team wires can just go proc crazy and start working on our Molong now um, since our Molong here is backed up by our Triana um, with a single hit it's gonna proc Triana's salvation song okay and then we're gonna ooh, okay nice violent good thing we got a violent there yeah um can we put this john to sleep or should we put theo mars to sleep no sleep okay hmm yeah let's go hit this theo mars keep working on theo mars heal up um, let's lower the health of Theo Mars so that Jean would put the invincibility on him, right? Or should we go for the reckless assault? If we go for the reckless assault, it's just going to kill our Molong. So, oof. Okay. Now we work on this Jean. Nice damage from our Icarus. Yeah. Okay. Very good. <laughs> yes sir okay. pretty much a GG and onwards to the next tower well after we kill this DMRs of course okay. just in case <laughs> alright well how was your holiday guys I hope um, you're having a good time and getting your well-deserved rest okay now here's Simp Mephdora okay let's see we have red 12 here going off cooldown and it's an NB4 base NB4 is a natural born 4 star monster full of these Garo, Orion and of course the newly buffed Miho. Here are how their defenses are doing. 3 is to 3. And we have Lychee here. Bringing in a level 35 Grogo to tank that Miho. Very interesting. Alright, let's go try it out. Uh, pretty much if you're attacking this Miho, you need to bring in a 
light or dark tank. Now, of course, Frigate isn't exactly a tank, but my plan here is to outspeed at Orion. Okay, but then Arya D is on the attack, and he brought in his own light tank in the form of Amarna. Now, here's Sazi with his own Amarna as well. Okay, let's see. Here's Sonic with his Grogo. Yeah, Julie is definitely an OP monster to kill that Garo for sure. And that Orion, of course. And Miho is pretty much an OP monster because when you hit her, she has that passive, the eye for an eye passive, that increases her attack by by 30% and counterattacks the attacker with a critical hit when she's hit with a critical hit. Plus, of course, she won't get defeated with a critical hit, so you, you just have to bomber or whatever just hit her with a non-critting attack. See, so my Drogo's not yet ruined, but I'll be ruining her up pretty soon. Uh, let's go try this one. She's gonna be attacking into Diaz. Okay, but here's Simp Al. Okay. Let's try this again with a Diaz. Okay, now I'm thinking here, except this Orion, what the? The Orion is a despair Orion and stuns everyone. Oh, and stuns again. Yeah, because my Galleon has a defense break, there, that Miho is pretty much attacking onto my Galleon, which is not good. Oh, man. Well, GG. Um, yeah, if I was able to pull off. Can we kill here? Uy. Uy. Okay. Wow. How can my Diaz crit? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Man, so many turns though. Yeah, my DS isn't exactly... <laughs> it's GG. Let's try that again. Um, okay, talking about mirroring. Let's go mirror this defense. Given that this Orion is in despair, we will outspeed him. Yes. Can we stun him? Yes. And then, let's go stun this Miho. Um, can we lower the attack bar of this? Um, yeah. That. What? Okay. Um, nice stun. Can we kill? That's fine. Because we have an eye for an eye. Alright. And we can continue to s no stance. Double hit and kill that Garo. Alright. And then kill this Orion. Okay, now the RNG is on my side, right? Yeah, right. Hmm. Okay. Well done. Yeah, the thing with mirroring defense is, um, is that more often than not, the defense gets more of the violent procs than the offense deals. And we're gonna try that with an NV5 defense because NV5 defenses are built with violent runes. Sure, you can build um, your NV4s with violent, but if you or focus on guild teams like if you build your guild offensive teams like for a siege battle or for a guild war you would put m most of your best runes on your best monsters right which are more often than not nv5s now let's bring in Eladriel here with our chasun and let's see if we can kill this Molong, Erna, and Taranis. 
we will kill Perna off the bat because we don't want her doing whatever damage. I'm actually running this defense, so please don't use this offense on my team. Well, well you can, of course. I mean, why not? Right. Um, but our Avaris is in danger here. But then, good thing, we have our Eladriel with the Archangel's Mercy for that revive. Alright. Okay. Yeah, it's good that we brought in Wind here. Because that Perna is going to be... Wow. Yeah, that Perna is going to be focusing on our Wind Monsters. Okay, Archangel's Mercy. Recently buffed. Brings in two monsters back together. Okay, nice violent. Now we have to heal up our Eladriel. Okay. Can we get a violent proc from our chassel? No violent proc. Okay, can we kill this Perna? Alright. And that's fine. Um at this point. Molong is going to keep attacking onto our Varys and then we're just going to work that um, what do you call this Molong down because we already killed that Perna who was providing them the heals that they need or that yeah that they need in order to sustain this team because Taranis has a revive that gives them the sustainability more especially with a 2 life Perna and a reckless assaulting Molong. Man, he gets so many additional turns though. Yeah, so many additional turns. This Tyrannus is OP. I mean, I wonder how fast he is. Okay, let's go kill this Molong. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're getting additional turns on our side. Boom! Definitely a hard hitting Taranis. See that? That was like another additional turn. And again. Wow! OP Taranis, huh? Um, I need a revive to bring in my. or our Abaris so that we can kill this Molong. Now we'll just let him do whatever because they don't have heals here. We're bringing in Avaris. Okay. Oh, gets the provoke. You see that? Man. Ouch, see? So many additional turns. Always provoking. Always stunning. Hmm. All we had to do, or all Avarius had to do, was just to kill this Molong already. But then he gets being, you know, he keeps getting stunned by this Avarius. Look at that. Okay, on the next turn, we have our revive back, so we're bringing back Avarius. <laughs> Crazy Taranis. Okay. Alright, we get our additional turn. And on the next turn, we're going to finally kill this Molong. Not unless we get stunned again. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Okay. There you go. Oh, man. Definitely an OP defense, that's why I'm also running it. Mm -hmm. I almost got killed there though. Especially if that Perna was doing a lot of damage, then automatically you can just, you know, kill, he could have killed my Chasun. And wasted a revive on my Theomars, or rather my Eladriel. Right? 
Um, if you're thinking if you can bring like a Theomars here, sure. I don't know. Um, it's just that your Theomars has to be really tanky if you're going to do that, of course. Um, yeah, I built my or this Avarius on a HP crit damage attack build. I can show you the runes later on. Okay. Onwards to the next tower. Yeah, that, that Tyrannus just talked so many violent rocks. OP, man. OP. Okay, what do we have here? We have two more attacks to go. And we see here a base 9. And here is Arya D. And Simp Crab. Oh, wow. Yeah, with that defense buff. From Mikael, those guys are gonna be hitting very hard. Okay, here's Feb. Toked on the attack on this yellow 10 base from La Familia. Okay, here's Neftora. And okay, let's go hit this. Jean Theo Harmonia, and we're bringing in. We can bring this in like a Rakan Wusa Fung in, but then Harmonia is just going to be, um, you know, doing her unwanted harmony, and that's not gonna do us any good. So we can also try in like this one our Nigong Wusa, um, what do you call this, Skogul, but then we wouldn't have that enough. What do you call this? Sustain or damage to actually kill Harmonia. So that's going to be hard for us too. Mm, it doesn't really matter if we put like accuracy or defense here. But definitely HP. But then, yeah, I'm a bit worried that that Harmonia is just going to unwanted Harmony someone and then they can just, you know, kill. So let's see. Whatever teams we can bring here um, we can try to mirror this yeah let's mirror it and let's see if we can out proc this defense let's go with a provoke here let's provoke resisted by that harmonia now we need to kill harmonia here um, though of course we can kill theomars but that unwanted harmony though. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna. Ooh. Wow. Three turns. Um, unwanted harmony onto that harmonia. Okay. Now can I get a proc? No proc. Can I get a provoke? No provoke, no stun. Wow, two turns every turn to your Mars. Um, I'm not gonna heal yet. Can we listen to the attack bar or put this harmonia to sleep? Nope. Oh, okay, can we kill? Ooh, def a violent nemesis harmonia, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, let's heal our John because I don't want a defense break on her. Okay, can we stun this TMRs? No stun. See? Two turns every turn. Hmm. A very dangerous TMRs at this point. Okay, can we provoke them, please? Still resisted. Okay, let's go put invincibility on our John there. But then this TMRs is gonna start hitting who? Yeah, the lowest health monster who is John. Let's go unwanted harmony again onto this harmonia. I'm trying to kill her. 
Yeah, now I'm thinking if I should have focused on that Theomars. Yeah, but then if this Theomars was a violent revenge Theomars, I would be in danger. Because he's just getting, you know, two turns every turn. The procs on his, on his side. Yeah. Yeah, well. Yeah, we, we were trying to test the violent procs. And pretty much that Theo Mars got two two turns every turn. And at some point, or at one point, he even proc three times. And how OP is that? So OP. <laughs> yep. Well, GG. Pretty much a GG. And no way we can win. Uh, you know, a mirror defense with a three versus two, because we just pretty much lost our main damage dealer, who was in the form of Theo Mars. And see, now they're not proking any violence. Now I get my violent procs, but then it's pretty much useless at this point. So, uh, onwards to the next battle. Yep, it's your C. Theomars is still not finished. Uh, <laughs> yep, now everyone's resisting. And we're in danger here. If we do unwanted harmony. Yep, additional turns. Okay, at least we resisted this time. But then Theomars is still proccing violent. And with that defense break. Let's check it out. Uh, we don't have enough damage. And of course, the Mars. <laughs> Still not finished. Sorry. <laughs> Man, that was one angry the Mars, huh? Okay, here's the Tamil on the attack. With that Ethna. Yeah, I have Et Ethna on my um, alternate account. But then, yeah, not on this one. Okay, now, back to red 8, and again, Garo, Orion, and Miho defenses. And here are the teams that our guild are bringing in. Okay, here's Cesar. Okay, we have one more attack. And let's see how our team does. Okay, is Tamiel still on it? Let's see. Okay. If we get an opportunity, we're gonna go try and go in and test out this team that um, I wanna try out. Yeah, I'm gonna bring in our Aegir, Delphoi, and someone to thank that Miho. Let's bring in Garo. Oh, sorry, Darian. Yeah, Darian. Yes, yeah, so for this team, Darian is going to thank that Miho. And then our Delphoi is going to thank that Garo, right? Now. Okay. Let's go kill this Garo because he's the main threat for our Delphoi to sustain. For the main sustain of our team. Um, okay, nice additional turn. Okay, with that continuous damage, that should kill that Garo. But then we have Darian with a slash wave that's gonna hit him twice, so that should kill. All right, now it's a three versus two. Again, we have Garo, or sorry, Darian, to kill this Miho. Or can we kill? Okay. Yeah, because we didn't crit her, so she just died pretty much. And that's the last attack we have for tonight. Or for this battle. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have you know if you wanna see certain monsters in these siege battles, please do leave a comment and let us know. And we'll see what we can do for ya. Definitely we'll try to feature them 
as per your request. Okay, and that's all our monster attacks for today. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Let's see how we do at the end of this siege battle. Alright, well, GG well played to Beer Club and La Familia. Let's see what we get from our SSS trophy box. Alright, can we get a shiny? We get... Shiny mana. <laughs> so much mana. Thank you for watching everybody. Please like and subscribe for more videos. See you in the next one. Now here are some close RT fights. Enjoy and salute.
Take it to the 